Hey guys, um, Simply Vintage here. I almost forgot her name, that's why it took me forever to say that. I'm sorry. I've got my water. And today I'm going to show you how to, um, put Sims 4 CC or custom contact from Nightcrawler, Tumblr, um, anyone's blogs, bios, anything like that into your actual Sims 4 game. So, let's get started. So, first thing is half of this video, like, um, the idea for this was from Vixella. Thank you, Vixella, so much. I didn't do it the exact way she did, of, because, of course, I wouldn't be uploading this video. And I saw no one else on YouTube do it this way, because everyone uses WinRAW and WinZip. And I can do, I can basically download everything from, um, from, like, Nightcaller or anywhere like that, or, like, Tumblr. If it's not zip. And there's still a ton of stuff that is zip. So I'll link a video in the description by Vixella or someone that is zip and how to install and raw. But I recently got a virus on this computer and luckily it went away. So I'm not going to download anything recently because I don't want to get another virus just in case if it like interferes with that. It might pop up again, but it's definitely not from The Sims 4 because the game has never crashed and has never like glitched out or anything like that. And a good oh, here's our video that my sister just made right here. Custom content shopping. Go check out out that. Um give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you like want more videos like this on how to on um, how to's and custom content shopping and stuff. I'm not that tech savvy so please don't rely on me that much. Okay, so um here's our folders that we have and um, I sorted mine just like Rixella, and the rest is basically from me. So I'm going to go, I have a folder named Sims for Custom Content. First I'm going to extract, um, not extract, maybe. Not, no, because, yeah, if it's a zip then you extract and you can't extract because I don't know how to do zip because I don't want to download anything, I already said that. Never mind, okay. So I'm going to basically, um, I'm going to take out something from from The Sims 4. So I'm basically just going to go to Documents, Electronic Arts, The Sims 4, um, Mods, and then I'm going to go to any one of these because that's how you take it out. As you can see, mine are sorted just like Vixella's. And I'm going to go to one of these. I'll go to, um, let's just do Clothes. And I'm just going to do one of these, um, blanket cape. What I basically do is I went to Electronic Arts, The Sims 4 Mods and Quotes. I'm going to take this out. I'll show you in a second how to put it back in. I'm going to take this out just like this. I'm going to put move to desktop. I'm happy that worked because sometimes it doesn't. If it doesn't work, I say just wait 30 minutes or an hour or something like that. And then it will work again. And then how you put it back in is put it back in move to close. Just like that. But, of course, it won't be in your desktop. So, you're probably going to say, well, where do I find it? So, I'm just going to take this blanket cape, and you'll find it, once you download it, you'll find it in Downloads. So, when you're in your library, you're going to go to Downloads, where I am right now, and there's the blanket cape, the blanket cape that we just put back in. And I have a folder for Sims for custom content, so you're going to need two tabs open, both for libraries. One is going to be in download. One, you're going to go to Documents, Electronic Arts, this is in Electronic Arts, The Sims 4, Mods, and then everything there is sorted. So this is Blanket Cape, which is closed. So I'm just going to click on Close for me. You can sort yours too. I'll show you in a second how to do a new folder. And I'm just going to drag, since once you download something that's CC or Sims 4, you'll find it in your download. So take your, for E for internet, or I might say Google or something, whatever you have. But if it's a zip, it will have a folder and then a zipper down it. And remember, I can't do that, so I'll link a video in the description. I'm going to take this um, E internet um, custom content blanket cape in close. I'm just going to drag it over to the close section in the Sims 4. And it says move to close right here in that little dash. You're just going to release your finger or whatever and there it is and it's in there and 
you should be set to go. I re recommend using Nightcaller or, or any like website like that because I have gotten um, clothes that have not been like where they don't load right and it doesn't show up or like a shirt. I've had three shirts that have done that, but my game has never ever crashed. And yeah, so watch out what you're downloading and stuff. That's how I do it. And I'll show you how to create a new folder. So when you're first in the Sims 4, so when you're at the stage when you go to Document, and you go to Electronic Arts, The Sims 4, and then to Mod, there's only Resource and then another folder. I deleted the other folder because I wanted mine to be sorted. Never click on Resource. I actually clicked on it because I didn't see that part in like Fellows video, but nothing happened to me. Just try not to mess around with it or anything. And so just don't click on Resource. And there's only going to be one folder there. And I'm, I forget what the title is, but I sorted all mine. So I'm going to just, I'm going to be in mods and I'm going to click on new folder. And there it is, new folder. You can title it, you can do poses, anything you want to. And then how to delete a folder is this, um, make sure a folder is highlighted. So this blue highlighted folder, I'm just going to put the red X, delete. And there it have it delete. That is how to put Sim CC custom content, take out of the Sim, put back into the Sim, and when it's downloaded, put it back in, and make a new folder, and delete the folder. Actually, more than I was hoping to get in, in like 7 minutes, I almost said 7 seconds. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, remember, Vixella's link is in the description, and then how to extract a zip file, I'm not sure if I would recommend that. I don't really recommend that, so I'm not going to link that. Never mind that. And Vixella's channel and um, video on this will be in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video, and this is Simply Vintage signing out. That was really weird. I'm not signing out. I'm just done with the video. I'm sorry. I'm done. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.